Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do the look that I posted on Instagram a few days ago. This is kind of my everyday look. If I'm going to be wearing makeup, this is what I have been wearing. And I've been obsessed with it. It's very fall appropriate. Um, you don't have to use the eyeshadows that I use. You can use anything in your collection. You don't even have to use the same colors that I use, just the same basic principles. Um, you can not add lashes, just use mascara. You could add a thick wing liner. It's really up to you. You can make it your own. So don't think you have to use and do exactly what I do. Um, but yeah, this is what I do every day. I did find my Kylie lip kit in pumpkin. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Um, and that's what I'm wearing today. I absolutely adore it. But um, I also want to go ahead and apologize for the lighting in this video it was in and out i decided to kind of film with just my ring light and natural lighting today because it was bright and nice outside but it's like the apocalypse has just come and it is dark and gloomy and raining and pretty disgusting and i didn't set up my other lighting so i apologize if it's kind of in and out i'm really really sorry but anyway, if you want to see how I got this my everyday go-to fall look, then uh, please keep watching. Alright guys, I am super tired. I'm going on two hours of sleep, so bear with me here today. Um, I already had, already had, see what I mean? Can't even talk. I already went ahead and did my foundation and brows. And for the foundation, I used the Smashbox Studio Skin 24 hour hydrating foundation and the NYX Angel Veil Primer. Um, these have been my favorite this month, but you know that if you watched my monthly favorites. But that is what I prime my skin with, and I use the um, Benefit Cabral for my brows today. So, yeah. Um, I haven't been doing that on camera just because it takes forever, and you guys have seen it before. So, um, I just haven't, but I am going to be doing an updated routine here shortly. Um, I'm doing kind of my everyday glam makeup. Um, you know, you don't have to do what I do. You don't have to wear the lashes. You can keep it without the lashes. It's not using liner. Um, but it's been my go-to every single day and it's using, um, both the Kylie palettes, um, the bronze palette as well as the burgundy palette. You don't have to use these. You can use similar colors. You don't even have to use similar colors. You can use just as long as you're using light to dark. This look will work for any shadow kind of scheme that you want to use it for. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started and I will zoom you in. Okay, I'm just going to take the Smashbox Studio Skin concealer. This is brand new. I only used it once so far. It's going to be in a haul coming up here shortly once I get the rest of my shipments in from the sale. But I'm just going to be using this to prime my eyelid, which I haven't used it for this before, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, and now we're gonna set that. I'm taking the Sigma Soft Focus E52 brush. Yes, E52 brush. I use this all the time if you've been watching me to go ahead and set the brow bone and we're gonna be going in with this lightest shade in the bronze palette, but any type of um, creamy white base or closest to your skin tone will work. So, and we're just gonna be patting that from lash line to brow bone just to set the concealer we just put on. Okay, next shade we're going in with is with the 
burgundy palette and it is the shade Beach right here and we're using a Wayne Goss number three brush. Um, and we're just gonna just tap tap in there and tap off the excess. And basically we're gonna be putting this in the upper crease in windshield wiper moments. I really am tired. Windshield wiper movement. So if you look at me, you think my crease is here, but I have hooded eyes. So my orbital bone actually starts up here. So that's usually where I put my colors. If I started putting them in the crease, it wouldn't look right and make my eye look very droopy. So I put it way up here where my actual orbital bone is. And you want this very blended out. Next, we're going to be taking the same brush and going in with the color Penny here, which is just a gorgeous, really rusty colored brown shade. Um, like it's like a matte copper shade and just tapping the tip of the brush in and tapping off the excess. And we're going to bring this lower in the crease, so slightly lower than the orbital bone, but still not directly in the crease. And then once you have less product on your brush, you can start blending it closer into the inner corner. Now I'm going in with the Sigma E25 brush, which is a smaller natural haired brush. It's slightly tapered and we're going to be going in with burgundy from the palette, which is this gorgeous middle shade. And again, we're just going to tap a little bit onto the brush. We don't want a whole lot of pigment at first and we're going to put that right in the crease now but we're kind of making a C shape. We're not gonna bring it all the way into the inner corner like we did the other colors. We're just gonna be defining that outer crease. And now I'm going back to that Wayne Goss number three brush and just going back over and marrying all those colors together. Okay, and now with the Sigma E25 brush again, we're going to go down here to this color brick and place that in the exact same spot. I don't destroy my brush. Okay, and back in with the Wayne Goss number three brush and again, blending that out a little more.
Now going in with one of my favorite brushes of all time that I just found. I thought I lost it and it's the Sigma E47. It's a very pointed thin brush but it's perfect for just really getting in that outer V and carving out your outer V and the crease. And I'm going in with the color Almond right here. And I'm almost using this sideways as packing but also blending as I'm packing. And then once I like what I see with the color laid down, I'll go back in and blend. Now I'm taking a clean Sigma E36 brush and I'm just going to blend right over top of that. Okay, now that we've gotten pretty much all the shadows laid down, you will see we kind of lost a lot of that lid color from when we set our concealer on our eyes or our eye base. So I'm just going to go back in with a MAC 242 brush in that same color. I think this is Jasper. Um, here, the same cream shade. Again, you don't have to use these palettes. Just use whatever you have on hand and go lightest to darkest or use whatever colors you want. Um, but I'm just going to take a bit of that and just kind of clean up that lid area again. And then just to help that blend a little more, the Sigma E20, no, E36. And we're just going to very lightly blend over those two. Now I'm going back in one more time with the Wayne Goss number no. 3 brush and just blend a little bit over the edges some more. And then again taking that same shade we first started with and just highlighting underneath the brow bone. And then I'm just going to take a clean Sigma E40 brush and blend at the top so that that brow bone color and the transition shade um, has a nice blend to it. Okay, we're gonna come back to the eyes and finish them in a little bit, but we're gonna go ahead and start working on some concealer because Lord knows mama needs it today and we are not using lashes. So, I mean, we're not using wing liner. So I wanna clean up right here and make it a little bit more sharp and angular and cat-like since we won't have the liner to help lift the eye. So I'm using the same concealer that I use on the eyes, the Smashbox Studio Skin 24 Hour Wear and we'll see how it goes with this. Okay, and then just taking my damp beauty blender and blending that out. Okay, 
Okay, now since we're already here highlighting and all that, we're going to go ahead and do a little bit on the forehead. A little bit on the bridge of the nose. Kudo and chin. And then blend it out. Okay, and now we're going to lightly, lightly set those areas with a powder. I'm using the Kat Von D translucent setting powder and a Real, Techn Real Techniques setting brush. I really need a nap, y'all, like, for real. Okay, and now we're going to jump back to the eyes and finish those real quick. Okay, you could leave the eyes like this, meaning you don't have to use any type of liner. You can just put some mascara on and be done. However, I don't have very thick, dark lashes. They're very blonde. You can hardly see them. They're not very thick. So I'm going to put a tiny line of um, liner on and then add some lashes. And for lashes, I'm using the Carly Lash by Velour Lashes, which, as you know, are my favorite. You can't tell me lashes don't make a difference. Okay, lashes are on and we're going to do the lower lash line. And Honestly, on a daily basis, I don't put a lot under there, so I'm going to keep it real to what I do every day. And I'm sorry if the lighting is getting really janky. There is a storm or something coming through, and it is getting so dark outside, and it is only 2 o'clock, and it is super dark. So I apologize if the lighting's been, like, all over the place. We are going to take the Sigma E36 brush and the color Penny from the burgundy palette and we're just going to very lightly blend that underneath the eye. Okay, and then we're going to take a little bit of Naked, that center shade here and blend over top that just to tone it down ever so slightly. Okay, I changed the camera settings ever so slightly, so hopefully it's easier to see me um, because it literally looks like freaking apocalypse is about to happen outside. Now I'm just going to take the Wayne Goss number three brush and just diffuse that out a little more. And the liner we're going to use is, it's the new Estee Edit liners, but I cannot read the rating. Okay, it's called the Inside Track, you have Bordeaux and Nude, I'm going to be using the Nude side.
And now I'm just going in with my MAC Giga Black Extended Play Lower Lash Mascara. It's not Lower Lash Mascara, but that's what I call it. And coat the lashes. Okay, like I said, I hope the lighting's slightly better. I don't know what's going on outside, but it's looking pretty grim. And it's cold and it's rainy, which is why I have this big sweater scarf just wrapped around me. But let's go ahead and complete. So we need some bronzer. And I'm going to be using... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm going to start with this and blend it out with this because I can't make my decision. So what do you do in that case? You use them both. So I'll go in with the Hula bronzer first. Get my mirror set up. I'm just going to go in with my big fluffy duo fiber brush and the Physician Formula Butter Bronzer and just kind of buff that all over the face to warm everything up. It's me and I got a little sloppy. I'm going to clean it up with the same powder and the same Real Techniques brush. And then immediately dust it away. Of course, if you watch my favorites, y'all all read to know, I'll be going in Max Whisper of Guilt. Bada bing, bada bing. I'm using my favorite Anastasia highlighting brush. Concept from this Tarte color wheel blush wheel thingamajig. Yeah. And blend all that out. I'm happy to announce I found my bay, my Kylie Jenner pumpkin lip kit that I mentioned in my favorites that I said I couldn't find and I was upset. It fell like in my Alex drawer, like behind and fell into the drawer underneath. So it's been found and that's what we're using today because I wear it almost every day. Alright guys, and here is the finished look. I, again, want to apologize so much for the lighting in this video. I'm pretty pissed off about it. So, yeah, but Mother Nature is not cooperating with me today and I didn't set up my other lights. So, yeah, I'm sorry. But I hope you guys really like this look. This is pretty much what I wear on a daily basis if I'm going to put on makeup. And I'm still obsessed with this Kylie Lip Kit in Pumpkin. I think it's a beautiful color. Um, I really like the way it looks on my skin tone. I feel like a lot of other skin tones could pull this off. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.